Now I just need the clicker to work. First, I want to get some administrative things out of the way. Um, the organizing team this year is Sam, who's standing there at the back. Um, I've nicknamed her Kirk, so you can remember her. Uh, Lauren, who's out at the registration table, who many of you will have already met when you collected your badges. She's Spock. And Simon, that's me, I'm Tato. <laughs> um, the bathrooms are on your left, my right. The tuck shop is on my left, your right. Don't get them confused. Uh, and the slides are running in. Cool, so after PyCon today 2012, we ran an exit survey, and I have some really bad news, which is that it's gonna be a tough act to follow. <laughs> um, of those people who replied, well, 93% said it was either good or awesome, and absolutely no one thought it was bad or very bad, which is really great. Um, and one of the big reasons for it being so awesome was that we had amazing speakers um, we had Armin Ronacher and Alex Gaynor, who gave the open keynote last year, which was really amazing about scaling your teams. Um, Lawrence uh, Van Houten, and of course we had cookies. <laughs> um, but the good news is that we're going to try and do better, better this year anyway, and this is, this is how we're going to do it. Um, First of all, I'm going to let you know a little secret, which is that despite having an amazing lineup of international speakers last year, the talk which was voted the best talk of PyCon Today 2012 was by Edward, um, about the bar that he and Nicholas wrote all of the software for in Python, and which you can join us at this evening if you like. Um, I'll tell you another secret, which is that when I asked Edward to do this talk, he said, I'm not sure if anyone will be interested. <laughs> Um, so if you're thinking about speaking and you're not sure if anyone will be interested, um, please ask him to talk anyway. Um, we have more attendees, 16.20% uh, more um, <laughs> this morning, and that's you. And how can more attendees not be more awesome? Um, we also have more sponsors. Some of the sponsors are old friends like Playhouse and Amazon and St. James Software and ThoughtWorks and Nomina and Google and the Python Software Foundation who all sponsored last year. Um, and we also have some new sponsors, uh, Tubo, RSA Web, who are providing Wi-Fi, and Voss, who I think have the honor of being the company with the most attendee presence. Um, and beating out some James software is hard. <laughs> um, we have lightning talks, which is this afternoon. Uh, please submit lightning talks. They are forms at the desk. All you need to do is give us your name, a way of contacting you, and the title of what you want to talk about. Uh, lightning talks should be uh, ideally less than five minutes. You can have slides if you like, but it's not mandatory. Uh, and most importantly, they should be fun. Um, there are open spaces happening on both afternoons. If you have some sort of community group that you want to get together, go and fill in an open space form, ask for a room, um, and we'll announce it to everyone um, after the talk. Uh, there are tutorials happening. Um, those are in the room on the bottom side. Um, there's a panel discussion happening tomorrow morning. If you have questions that you want to put to the panel, uh, please, um, either email uh, team at today.python.org or approach me or Lauren or Sam and let us know. Uh, and lastly, after the conference on Saturday, there are sprints at the Breakout offices in Woodstock near the Upper East Side Hotel. And there is going to be a copy of Think Python um, that was donated by Ryan, given for free to one new Python person who shows up at the sprint. There's also a cocktail evening this year, um, sponsored by Amazon. That's tomorrow night. It's here at the venue downstairs in the site office. It's a really beautiful venue, and hopefully we'll see many of you there. Um, we do, however, need to have a rough idea of who's going to attend. So if you'd like to attend the cocktail evening, please go and check your name off on the form um, sometime before the end of the day. That would be helpful. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much uh, it from me. Um, I just want to say one more thing, be nice to everyone. Uh, we, do have a <laughs> we do have a code of conduct, um, and I think it can just be summarized as, yeah, um, be nice to people, be respectful.
Uh, now, Kieran is going to say a couple of words about the Google Cloud Developer Challenge, which is currently being run by Google. Um, Kieran. Morning, everyone. So there's an App Engine session happening later on today. And uh, there's a currently a Google Cloud Developer Challenge, which is also underway. So I wanted to make everyone aware of the Developer Challenge, so that if you feel like participating, which you, sh you definitely should, you can attend the App Engine session happening later today. Um, so you can also use your favorite uh, Python-based templating engine. So um, enjoyment is pretty much guaranteed, it's all Python. So uh, for those of you who like to see where your Python apps live and if they are housed well and are treated well, you can have a look at, you can street view Google's data center at that link there. So that's quite cool if you haven't seen it before. So a bit more about the timelines of the challenge. Uh, the challenge opens on September 4. Um, submissions for the first round happens uh, October 22, so that's when the submissions start. The submissions for the first round ends of uh, November 21. So currently you have about 6.5 weeks from now to submit something before the first round is closed. Uh, three apps from our region will then be chosen for, for the winning apps of first, the first round. Those will make it into the second round. Uh, the second round semifinals are announced December 5th. The semifinal submissions then happen on January 5th. So those winning apps will then submit again. They have a month to polish the app and things like that. And the winning apps uh, of those 22 will be chosen from our region on January 28th where the winners will be announced. We also have an IRC channel, hash Python today on the three node IRC network if you're that way inclined. Um, and now, without too much further ado, I have the pleasure of uh, introducing you to our first speaker, Simon Ratcliffe. Um, if I can find my question. Come on. Oh, I'm back at the start of my slides. <laughs> okay, the fast version. Okay, uh, Simon was the second best speaker, <laughs> um, as voted by you, um, at the back of the day 2012. And he's aiming to go one better this year with a dangerous live demo, I believe. Simon is from the Square Kilometer Array, South Africa. Um, they're building an absolutely massive radio telescope out in the Karoo. And Simon is on the science processing team and really one of the core drivers of the project. Uh, Simon, over to you. Thank you. Uh, 